What's up beautiful people, in this video we're gonna see how to use a lead P10 to display some nice text like this, maybe for your business, your shop and other, you know, purpose. So first things first, a lead P10 is a type of lead display module that is commonly used for outdoor advertising information display purposes. It's called a lead P10 because the distance between the center of two adjacent pixels is 10 millimeters which means from here to there, here to there, there is in 10 millimeters and for that we call it the LED P10. So you can see this is the one that I have and when you look in the back just like this or maybe as you see on the screen you can see it right here these are pins left for extending which means that if I have more than this maybe I have two I can extend and maybe make the display a little longer. Then this one right here is the power. It's five volt input and it is used to increase, you know, the brightness of the LEDs. Here, this is the connection. And you can see that here in the back, a little hidden, I have my Arduino Nano. And this is how you have to connect. So you have to zoom in a little bit and identify every single pin because it's well labeled on and connected as I'm showing you on the diagram. So you're gonna have to take the A and put it on the D6, B onto D7, you know, um, and, and so forth. So let's now go to the Arduino IDE. So this is, this will be a short video because I don't want to take long because this is an easy thing. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is to flip it back like this, nice and calm, and open up my sketch right here. So I don't wanna talk about a lot on this sketch. What I wanna show you is here on string. So you can see that on string, I have this word, hello world. So the first thing you have to do is to first download these two libraries. The first one is DMD master. The second one is time one master. So if you have them installed, everything will be smooth. So then um, after you connect everything like right here, the next thing you need to do is to go here. So I'm gonna have to, you know, connect my Arduino pin to my computer, which happens to be the Raspberry Pi. This is what I had in already. So I'm gonna go down here in this code. The part where I want to look at is here where it's written hello world. So I'm gonna change because I'm, I'm assuming that you're using this and maybe you don't even know how to use the Arduino, but I know that you can identify where it's written hello world. Next thing you need to do is to go here and type in maybe welcome to my channel, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is go back here, don't change anything. Um, Maybe choose my port, which is this one, and then hit upload. So now you can see that after I upload, it is scrolling. Welcome to my YouTube channel, nice and clean. So now see, when I try to, you know, plug in here this power, I want to add this five volt. I want you to notice the change. So you can see how, you know, bright, these LEDs are, let me add these 5 volt, these extra 5 volt and have you to see. You can see how it increases to a much more brighter, you know, color. So maybe, so this is disturbing to the camera, but you can see that it is displaying the text that we told it to display. So in here, if you want to increase maybe, the, to reduce the speed, you can go ahead and change this number. Maybe then put on 7D and then upload again. So you can see how it's moving slower now. So um, let's now go to some other things. If you want to test some other cool things, you can come here and file and then go to examples and then scroll down up at the bottom and then go and choose DMD master here. And then maybe choose this um dmd demo so you can see this example uh, so uh, this is just an example made it comes in the library 
you don't need to change anything so i want to now upload this and see how our led p10 reacts but the most important thing is how to scroll the text so you can see now this is the clock in a little while we'll have some scrolling text so here now you can see this 